What is going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel and I know it's been a long time and I'm glad I'm here. Glad to be back and for a very long time I lost a lot of my motivation to make videos just because I wasn't really going anywhere with the taco and at the end of the day we sold it. So I'll be definitely going into a lot more details in regards to why we sold it. Um, all that good stuff uh, a little bit later, but for now I just filmed a video in regards to a big old kind of uh, Movement in the Land Cruiser. I do now own a 1991 Toyota Land Cruiser that uh, We got in some kind of uh, murky conditions and at the end of the day We're trying to bring her back to life now. She does look uh, really, really good uh, from the outside, but on the inside, engine-wise, she needs a little bit of work, got a couple leaks, a lot of maintenance to do. Uh, and typically, the owners that have these vehicles tend to do the fun stuff and forget about the important stuff. So at the end of the day, that's what we did in this video. So hopefully you guys enjoy it. It won't be too long, and I'm sorry it is in a different format, but hope you guys enjoy it. Hope to be back here a lot more, showing you guys more camp videos, Land Cruiser videos, and we're gonna be adding bikes into this. So you guys will be seeing me uh, mountain biking, road biking, um, and what we're doing for this Land Cruiser is getting it ready so that we can explore with these bikes, explore camping, and just in general, make it an overall great vehicle to just have fun in. So here we go. All right, guys, if you're watching this, you probably own a Land Cruiser, and what we're doing here today is trying to do a compression test and also replace these spark plugs. This one's completely cooked. Unfortunately, when you buy a used vehicle, you're gonna notice that nobody does maintenance. Everybody wants to do the cool stuff. So the cool stuff's done on mine, but now I gotta do the maintenance. So we're building it from the inside out, I guess. So here we go. Take them out of order. So we uh, did the first cylinder and we're getting about 140-ish all the way almost close to 150. So not the greatest, but not the worst. Okay. What do we got? About the same? Huh? About the same? 140-ish? Yeah. That's not bad. Well, actually, no, I like it's going down a little bit. It's like 130, 138, 139. Okay, that's not bad. I mean, slightly under. Not they, bad. from what we read, it said bare minimum should be 115. So we're a little bit above that. Sounds better. How are we looking? One, like 150. 150. Flat. Flat. Nice. Is it going down? Oh, that's good. Solid right there. Okay, third cylinder we try so far, 150. Can't complain, that's pretty solid. Still three to go though. <laughs> 145. 145? Still pretty solid. <laughs> what do we got? Like 138 this time. All right, a little bit lower. 138. Oy. I don't know. 138, still pretty solid compared to, you know, the lowest being 115 and still being okay. So can't complain. I'll take it. What we got? 150. 150 on that one. 150. Let's go. All right. Well, that's all six. So I guess that's a good sign. So that's been our strongest one. That's also the one all the way up front. So pretty rad. Totally dig that. All right. So the main reason why we did that is because the shop that I took it to, to kind of get sort of diagnosed and looked at just to make sure that I had something that was okay. It might be gold on my hands. Uh, decided um, that we should do a compression test. So they were kind of a little bit higher in price, great shop, but a little bit higher in price. So I know my brother had done it before, so asked for his help. And now all six cylinders have kind of checked out. So we kind of know all six cylinders are dialed in and the motor has somewhat some life. Doesn't mean that it's perfect, but at the same time has some life. So 
Main reason again was uh, because of that. And also we were already taking off the spark plug, so why not? So here we go. Now we're gonna install those spark plugs. We're gonna go start it right now. So let's see how she turns on. So as far as I've owned it, that's the best way she started so far. So that's awesome. That's already a step forward. Uh, big, big issue or at least concern was that the motor was cooked and that would have sucked because then now I know why I got it cheap. But um, at the end of the day, motor's okay. Uh, she seems to be purring right now. That's still without having spark plug wires done. Those are on order, hopefully coming very soon. But other than that, so far so good. We're going to keep an eye on her and uh, yeah, stay tuned for more.